Star Wars convention last mm. weekend, and I must say, as the 2-2 pitch is looked at for a strike three, Ernie, may the fourth be with you. Yeah, yeah. 79, I think they were just passing Sutton Gasaway at the time as the 2-2 is swung on and missed, strike three. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to begin the game for Will Watson. You know, they're just here to play baseball in the midweek, mid just like the Mountaineers. Swing and a miss, strike three. Watson punches out West on three pitches and strikes out the side. One, two, three. Probably six unassisted to three double play because the shortstop was moving to the bag. Vic Scott drag bunt first base, unable to get there, spraddling the pitcher. Lefty falling third base side, unable to make it up in time with the great speed of Scott. Pulled me. 1-2 pitch is a strike three call. He knew it. Fastball 90 miles an hour inside corner. Fourth strikeout for Will Watson. No runs, no hits, a walk with two outs left at second. Here's the two ball, two strike pitch. Costigan takes strike three. He's done. Five strikeouts through the first eight hitters. West Virginia has knocked out. He recorded just one out. Here's the wind in the 2-2, swing and a miss. Martinez laid on the fastball. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to begin Michael Kilker's outing. Count pitch coming, two outs in the third. And it swung on and missed. Strikes out the side, does Kilker in the Charleston half of the third. One, two, three, go the Golden Eagle. First baseman creeps up Kyle West as this bunt is beautifully dropped down. Third base out of the mound and throwing late. No chance to get Tevin Tucker. Everybody is safe. Smith to third. Leonard to second. And the bunt base hit against a Division I regional foe. One two pitch. Ground ball to shortstop. Up with it. The shortstop falls. Bodorf. No. He comes up. Now throws home for a runner trying to score. And they'll get Dane Leonard at the plate. West Virginia goes into the lead one to nothing as Evan Smith on the infield single scores. But Dane Leonard trying on that infield. They'll always strike. They're undefeated and untied, aren't they? Here's a ball on a one strike pitch. Served to right on a line drive. And we're going to get a double play out of it as Davis bounces it on two hops over to first baseman Hussey to double off Plasner, who, for whatever reason, here's the windup and the 0 2 pitch. It swung on and hit sharply to left past the dive of shortstop Bodorf and into left. Leadoff single for WVU. Yeah, that's officially the hardest hit ball of the night. Second consecutive inning that West Virginia's had the leadoff man aboard. I saw City app. Pigpen, by the way, is checking in as a strike is down and a throw down to second on the delay steal by Barry. It kicks away and gets into center field. Barry gets up and heads to third. So a delayed steal by Barry is 14th base of the year to get into scoring position. Then evening with the runner at first base. He takes a pitch and hits it hard down to third. Leonard is up with it, goes to second one. Weatherholt turns around the horn. It's a 5-4-3 double play. A pitch with two outs and a 1-0 Mountaineer lead. Sixth inning. And a swing and a ball stroke to center. Scott has to leap up, and he can't catch the line drive. Into and out of his mitt and all the way to the wall. And West is on his horse, and he's into third base with two outs here in the top of the sixth inning. Guess what? The tying run is 90 out to Tyler Dellerman, the number two hitter. And he swings and strikes out. He chased a breaking ball well off the plate outside. But the Golden Eagles do damage, and they take a lead. And here we go. Swing, and there's a drive. Way back there to right field. Tie game. Dell Dell with the pinch hit homer. It's been three weeks since he's had an at-bat, but he ties the game with a solo homer in the bottom of the ninth. It is two to two. Kevin Dowdell, his first homer as a Mountaineer. First big swing of the night for the Mountaineers, a pinch hitter. Kevin Dowdell gets it done. And you could tell he was on the fastball, the two previous pitches. He pulled the one into the first base dugout right on the next one. He fouled straight back. Here's the one strike pitch. Swung on, line shot, base hit, center field. Winning run aboard for West Virginia. Golden Eagles were playing no doubles. The weather hole. Three ball, two strike, two out pitch. Swung on, line drive. That's a base hit. Well struck to center. Hill Zaccaro's throw to the plate. Weatherhold is going to score. And West Virginia will win it. 
J.J. Weatherholt scores from second base on the McGuire Holbrook base hit to center field. And West Virginia scores two in the bottom of the ninth inning. And they're able to stave off the Golden Eagles at the University of Charleston. What a baseball game, though, huh? I mean, what a baseball game. What an effort by the University of Charleston, the Golden Eagles, to come up here and give West Virginia absolutely, positively everything that they could handle here tonight. Of note, 